This is the Lord is One with another video on Mormonism. This time we're talking about the Mormon view of the spirit and the way that's how it works. Now here's from the Book of Abraham. Um, and it describes that um, God had shown Abraham the intelligences. And he says that they were organized before the world was. And the idea, and I've talked about this to even some Mormon missionaries, and they've expressed that these, what they will call intelligences, are eternal. They've always existed. And it's interesting because they also believe that God was at one point one of these intelligences, which they will discuss. And that's where, where they will say, if you ask them, is God eternal or is he everlasting? They'll say yes, but what they really mean is that the intelli is that God has always existed in some form or another, even if he wasn't always God in that form, which does actually seem deceptive, I think, from my point of view. And the general idea, which is partially taken from this chapter, but also taken from later Mormon texts on, you know, the process of where you go from, generally speaking, goes to become an intelligent, then you're a spirit child, um, then you're put into a body, and then theoretically, you can be put in a glorified body, become a god, and start creating your own worlds or even universes, depending on the interpretation. Um, and this is, generally speaking, what Mormons um, believe about this, or at least what Mormon teaching says. And it's just a very um, interesting sort of doctrine. And I thank you for watching, and God bless.